it's a world it's hey keisha so today i just want to do a video for all the new youtubers or all, everyone that is thinking about um starting a youtube channel so how to start a youtube channel stay tuned okay guys so i have started a youtube channel probably i would say around seven years ago and i had the channel for two years i had a lot of subscribers on it but for some reason i got shut down by youtube not quite sure if it was my channel because my, my daughter was also using the same account and she had her own channel but it was on the same google um, account so I'm not sure if i did something wrong or she did something wrong i tried appealing it so that i can get but my subscribers um, i had tons like over 10,000 subscribers and i didn't they, they appealed and went through so i decided to start back on your channel i've been just trying to start this but it's honestly hard to start um a new youtube channel when you know you already had one that was already that gave birth and everything that was already up there had subscriber that was like mature and to know that you have lost everything and had to tr start from the bottom again it's really hard so i started and i stopped and i started like i started and then six months passed and then i put up another video and then you know a year passed and so it was not as consistent but now i started it because i move and um i have a lot of time on my hands so now i decide to start a new youtube channel so i just wanted to tell others that are thinking of doing it how to go ahead and start their own channel so when i first started i started using a cell phone i started using a cell phone just like this so i started using something just like this so when you're you you're when you're flimming your youtube or whatever you're flimming and if you notice that when you're flimming youtube if you hold the camera like this this way facing you this way then you have that two black lines or the, those two dark areas and a little skinny area in between showing the video well some people may like it but that's that's not the proper way in um showing your video or you know i like when my video is all the whole width of the lens you can see everything so um so the best way to hold the the camera is to by holding it this way when using a phone so that your picture comes out wide and everything is like there and you can see and there's no like dark spots on the sides. That's how I st first started using my phone. As I started to grow more, I wasn't making any money, tell you the truth. I wasn't really making any money off YouTube. So as I started growing, I started to invest in more into YouTube. So I purchased my first camera that I purchased was this camera. Buying a camera for YouTube to buy something that flips. And you can, I normally turn this area so I can see myself when I'm doing my videos. So I can see that I'm in frame and everything is showing properly and the lighting and everything is great so i purchased this one and it's the canon i have it for quite a while now canon sx40 so i had this for quite a while over six years or so i have it and i'm honestly not letting it go i still use it um so so yes i purchased this one and it did great for me at the time and we as i said i use it for years once you have good lighting it works it works great outside and it's a little bit heavy but it's not as heavy as the one that i'm use currently using right now right now i'm using the canon eos rebel t6 for my videos it's not the greatest it's heavy it's not not the greatest but i really like using it and that's the one that i'm using currently right now but if you are planning to do vlogging or investing the one that i'm using i should say this one that i purchased um i believe it cost me like $250 refurbished and I got it from Enri's so it was $250 at the time refurbished not sure how much it is right now and um, the Canon T the Canon Canon T6 right now Rebel T6 that I'm currently using right now I believe I paid $450 for it and I bought it off of eBay and it was an open box 
So I normally buy those ones because honestly it's more expensive if you're supposed to buy it brand new. This one is brand new and this is actually the Canon G7X and it's the best camera. This is the best camera, I tell you guys. This is great for vlogging and as I said, if you're new to YouTube, it's good to use this where you can see yourself in the frame. So it's, it is absolutely great for vlogging and it's crisp, it's crisp. Like this is what I honestly should be using right now doing this video and doing all my videos. And it's so light to carry around and everything. This one we just recently got and I'm planning on using it to do a lot of vlogging, more like a vlogging camera. So I was planning to do a lot of family vlogging on my channel. So yeah, so these are, I would say starter, but then it will last you for quite a, a while, like up to 10 years or so if you do take care of it. It will last you for a while so these are what I started out with you can get yourself a tripod I've used tripod did I I've used books I've used let me show you something that I used to use while I um, was using my phone okay guys so this is what I usually use when I'm doing my using my phone as a starter to do my videos and I have it like this Sorry. I'll have it like this on a table. So I still use this tripod. I currently still use it and move up and down and it shows you when it's um, when the, the camera is straight and everything. So I have one almost like this that I'm currently using right now with my other um, with my T6. These are what I use. We have lots of it, lots of it. I now started using, or before then, I, then I started, um, I used to use, I would say, daylight, try to make my videos during the daytime and just using the light that's coming from the window. I turn my camera back from the, to the wind, I'll turn my face towards the window and have the camera reflecting at, looking at me with the, um, the daylight pouring in from the window. And I upgraded and I went to a ring light only because that was what, every beauty guru was using and I got it off of Amazon. I believe I paid like $90 for it from on Amazon so I still do have it. So these are investment that you can have for years and years to come. And I also two boxes, two light boxes and it has around eight um, light plugs that you can put your lights and I only use the daylight. Anything that says daylight, I, I'm on it. So I use the daylight in my light box and that's how my video looks but my t6 doesn't show as how i really want for it to show but the g7x is the bomb and i will be starting uh, soon i will be doing some videos to show you guys the difference between the t6 the g7x which is what i would recommend recommend anyone to use new youtubers experienced people and it's very easy to use so that's all the th those are all the stuff that i've used when i started my youtube channel now um think about what you want your channel to be about think about um what you're really 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 good at what you're really good at and you're confident talking about so start your your um your channel channel on that i know my daughter she started she loves to play with toys and talk to the toys and play and that's how she started her youtube channel and then she started going to slime and she started to doing geek and other whatever comes to her mind now i had started as a beauty guru and i was more and thrift shopping i love me some trips thrift shopping and then i realized my thrift videos was there was more views on my thrift videos so i started to like you know spend more time thrifting and actually i was using my own money thrifting and eventually a thrift store and so a thrift store had got in touch with me and asked me to become their ambassador and I was able to get anything inside the store for 50% off or sometimes for free. So yes, yeah, so the more and more you started to grow and as you find your niche and if it's something that um, stores or anyone that has products that if you talk about natural hair products, whatever it is that you're really good at, 
um, people will start contacting you and offering you stuff to review and even offer you free stuff then eventually it can become a business where you start to charge them for reviewing their items so but it's a long run it's not as easy as how some youtuber may make it seem it's not as easy i personally believe for your youtube to be taken off on a standard way of growth i think I personally think it's between two to five years um, or unless you're that lucky one that have a video that goes viral but other than that it takes about two to about five years for you to see real growth on YouTube now I just started my YouTube this year so I'm not really expecting anything to happen until probably the next five years hopefully I still continue to do it and the best thing I can say to do is consistency consistency consistent once you you are consistent with your um, videos you'll see growth and growth and growth and I just start being a little bit more consistent for the last two weeks and I would say I'm more like for the last week I'm more focus on it and i noticed within the last week i got like a little bit over i got over 10 new subscribers so the best time to start i would say now is the right time to start now that everyone is home and everyone is looking for something to binge on um a lot of people gravitate to go to youtube the first place i would say or the second place other than netflix but between netflix and youtube and I think right now is the best time to start because you have a lot on your hands and like your home and you're able to start right, 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 right now. And you'll have, as I said, time where you can focus on just doing your videos throughout the day. Just pretend as if you're going to work, get up, get yourself organized and just drop videos every day. And um, I would say editing is not bad. I use Wondershare, which is pretty simple and easy for all be beginners Wondershare and I have had my Wondershare account for almost I would say 10 years because I used almost 10 years and I believe my package that I bought is for $60 and it's a lifetime package but there's some stuff that you can upgrade on and add additional stuff for more money so that's what I use that's what I've been using to do my editing you can also edit on your phone um, depends on what phone that you have it does great editing also so you can edit on your phone there's some laptop that comes with free edit you know you can just start off with those first that's basically it to start you don't need a lot of stuff to start your youtube channel just that just know what topic you want to talk about have a great um phone or camera and some good lighting can be natural lighting and you're good to go and just speak what you're comfortable speaking about or diys i would say yes diys when you're starting diys are the best thing to start off on because everyone the first thing that you think of is like how do i do this let me youtube it so a lot of people youtube how to that's one of the way to get your videos um seen just how to videos are so great to start off your um your youtube channel diys showing people how to do anything diys that's a good way to start your youtube channel yeah so anything that you're comfortable doing if you're or your style is how to you know do a sewing how to you know do baby hair just any how to your style is how to wear a white t-shirt with a jeans pants how to you know how uh, like show basic stuff and people gravitate to those towards those things so those are all that i can think of for now if there's anything else that you know then you can drop it down here so we all can learn from each other again don't don't forget to subscribe because i will be coming and sharing a lot of videos in regards to how to like how to start your channel just help let's just help each other grow like how to grow together so I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great month. See you in my next video.